Detroit police need your help in finding the person who shot and killed a transgender woman on the city's west side. Her body was found on the sidewalk right near Fankel and Schaefer Monday night. Police tell us that she was shot multiple times and her pants were torn. Witnesses believe that she jumped out of a car and started running while the driver chased and shot her. It's hurtful. A life was lost. You know, another member of our community is gone um, and specifically another trans woman of color has lost their life. And so it, it's devastating to the community um, that, that this occurred. Investigators are still working to determine what led up to the shooting. A former Macomb County priest will spend years in prison for the sexual abuse of young boys, Neil Kalina. He was sentenced to up to 15 years in prison. He was convicted of two counts of second degree criminal sexual conduct last month. Kalina was a priest at St. Kiernan Catholic Church in Shelby Township in the 1980s. Kalina is accused of molesting teens and giving them drugs and alcohol. He was charged back in 2019 after finally being arrested in the state of California. New details were revealed in federal court about the man accused of buying the gun that killed Detroit police officer Lauren Quartz. Investigators say Sheldon Thomas bought the gun, the Draco gun, from an East Point shop and then sold it to 19-year-old Imani Davis. Prosecutors say that Thomas is a serial straw purchaser and they accused him of flooding the streets with guns. Thomas was given no bond.